Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making mon bola or breakfast rolls, a family favorite. These are rolls that have both all-purpose flour and whole wheat flour for some added flavor, as well as some seeds for texture. We really love to eat these in the morning with butter and jam, but you can enjoy them any time of day. For these rolls, you're going to need whole wheat flour, all-purpose flour, a little bit of sugar, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, yeast. We do use instant yeast, but you can also use active dry yeast or fresh yeast. Salt, a combination of milk and water, and a little bit of vegetable oil. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is heat up the milk and water to make sure it is lukewarm in temperature. Now that the milk and water mixture is lukewarm, I'm going to add it to the bowl of a stand mixer. You can also add this to a large mixing bowl if you're kneading this by hand. Next, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of my instant yeast. If you are using active dry or fresh yeast, you wanna add the sugar in this recipe to the yeast now mix it up a little bit and then let it sit so that it can activate the yeast. You'll know that it's working when you see bubbles forming on the top. Otherwise, your yeast might be expired and you should start over with new yeast. With instant yeast, you don't have to do that. You just throw it in, throw all your ingredients in and then it'll work. Going in next is one teaspoon of sugar. I'm also adding in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And now we're gonna start adding our dry ingredients. I'm using a scale to measure this out and we're starting with 40 grams of flax seeds. Next is 85 grams of sunflower seeds. Next, I'm adding in 130 grams of whole wheat flour. Now I'm adding in 195 grams of all-purpose flour or you can also use bread flour. And last but not least, one teaspoon of salt. Now that all the ingredients are combined, we're going to knead this. Like I said, I'm using a stand mixer, but you can also do this by hand. I'm attaching the dough hook. If the dough is sticking quite a bit, you can add a little bit more flour. Just make sure to add it about a tablespoon at a time so it doesn't get too dry. All right, so now our dough is done kneading. It is no longer sticking to the sides of the bowl or my fingers when I do this. It is okay if it's a little bit tacky as it'll make for a softer roll. The total kneading time was probably around 10 minutes. Now we're going to cover the dough and then let it rise for 45 minutes to an hour. All right, see you in 45 minutes. The dough has been rising. It's definitely doubled in size, and if you poke it, it leaves an indentation like that. And now we're going to shape the rolls. The first thing I'm doing is dumping it out onto a clean work surface. All right, next I'm going to divide this dough into eight equal sized pieces. Now that I have the eight pieces, I'm going to take each piece and roll it into a ball. Now that it's pretty roughly in a round shape, I'm going to place it on my surface that doesn't have any flour on it, and then cup the dough and then roll it around in circles. And what this does is creates nice tension on the top so that the buns rise evenly in, when they bake. And now we have a nice round bun, and then just repeat for the rest of the dough. I'm going to transfer the buns to a baking sheet that's lined with a silicone mat. You can also use parchment paper. And now we're just gonna cover, and they're gonna rise for another 
30 to 45 minutes. See you in 30 to 45 minutes. It's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and let these sit for another 10 minutes while the oven preheats. The oven is preheated, so now we're going to egg wash these, add a few toppings, and then get them in the oven. The egg wash is just one egg mixed with a little bit of water. For toppings, I'm going to do half poppy seed and half sunflower seed. I'm gonna check on these rolls after about 12 minutes. These are gonna cool for around 20 minutes and then we can try one. All right, now they've cooled down enough, let's cut into one. Definitely one of the best ways to eat these is with a thick layer of butter. And in Denmark, we call that tensma, which basically means tooth butter. And it comes from the fact that you have a layer of butter so thick that you can see your tooth marks in it. Really good. They're super hearty. The seeds give a great texture. And we love these rolls, especially for breakfast. Let us know if you try our recipe. We'd love to hear from you. And see you for the next video. Bye! We really love to eat these in the We really love to <laughs> for these rolls. <clears throat> <clears throat> Go team. The first thing I'm <laughs> I said, what? What are I answering?